My name is Xavier, and welcome back to RimWorld! Uh, what is this? Medieval Nomads. That's what we're doing today. It's been at least a couple weeks since I played last. However, uh, hopefully going forward, the schedule should be every other day. Hopefully. Although I'm going to be busy for, you know, the next couple of weeks, so maybe I might miss that. But for the most part, that's the plan. I'm going to move the episodes uh, alternating with Long Water at 6 a.m. Pacific time as well. So, with that out of the way, uh, let's get on what really matters here. Watching Bez recruit Squid. Come on, Bez. Come on, Bez. One-eyed Bez. Talk him into it. He just looks like he's sleek and fast. Like, if you just put some olive oil on his head, he could just, like, run straight through a Mufalo or something. 5.1% chance failed on Bez. Ah, bloody hell. We'll get Squid eventually. Eventually. Hey, speaking of, uh, we no longer need this thing on because this is no longer a prisoner. Let's actually toggle the power of that off so we stop wasting wood on it. Just happened to notice that here. Uh, and I have to leave in five days. So the plan is, let's. what the heck is Ellis doing? She's pressing a button? She's flicking a switch. Where the... Oh, that's a switch. I see. Interesting. Okay, I've never actually seen that before because I've played only like uh, olden times versions of this game where there's not any switches to flick. Huh. So it still shows the fire, interestingly enough. But it, I hopefully it's not actually using the fuel. Uh, anyway, everyone is out here hauling. Oh, right, because I had set haul priority on all of the rice. And then we have all the corn up here as well. Wow, that's a lot of corn. We're going to have a ton of stuff to haul pretty soon. And in fact, it may make sense to cut a path through here. Nah, it looks like they can get through just fine. They can get through just fine. Everyone over here is fine as well. Devil Strand's fine. We have a lot of hauling to do here. And I'm kind of wondering if maybe I need to chop these trees down, because will they actually use these spots for storage? I don't think they will, as long as the trees are there. So let's go issue an order really quick to chop it, choppy. We'll chop all the trees down in there. It's going to be a little bit of a, a work, but that'll give us a little bit more stockpile to hold stuff. Great. Otherwise, everything's getting hauled in. Food's getting made. Stews are looking good. We've got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven colonists, which means we can support 22 per day. Uh, which is 66 meals total, and I do have them set to 60 at present. Interesting. Wooden smokehouse. Oh, yeah. Speaking of, I have the JT Export mod here. Uh, in fact, I have a number of mods. I've uh, redone the, the list a little bit. Just to, other than the JT Export one, a couple other mods have been, like, alternate versions of them have been updated to Beta 18 by different, different um, authors and kind of released. So you no longer have to go in there and, like, find the wildlife tab in the comments or whatever. You can just download one directly from Steam. So uh, that's updated a little bit. I think Wildlife, JT Export, and a couple other small ones. I did that, too, as well. Not that it really mattered. Nothing really changed other than I added JT Export. So, all right. Lastly, the one thing I really want to focus on... Oh, wait. No, there is one thing that changed. Refactored work priorities had an update. Ooh, look at that. Uh, so what this means is if we expand Hall... We should have two new things for hauling here. Yeah, we do. We have haul... No, not that's haul resources. There should be one in here for haul rotten. Haul rottable items. Yes, it's on a three for pretty much everybody, which is very, very, very high. No wonder why they're all doing hauling. Because refactored work priorities automatically grab that and put that on a three. Okay. Thank you very much, refractored work priorities. You're making life just so much easier here. Uh, speaking of life being easier, how many animals do we have in the, the world to tame here? Looks like we got three Mufalos, one alpaca. Turkey meat right away in storage. That's unfortunate. Nothing else really here to tame that I want so much. How are we doing uh, in terms of training animals? Very good. Oh, actually, we have another one here I didn't set up. We'll set him up. Good. Uh, they're all set to Christine. They should all be on Bez, though. Let's go through and set that up right now because she's the one who's out doing all the hunting. This one has a bond. I guess we'll leave it on her, Bez. That is wonderful. Do we want them to follow the master while drafted? Yes. Do we want them to follow the master while doing work? Yes. Bez all around. Looking good. Does anyone here have a bond? No. Not that I can see. So there's no special bonds anywhere except for the one we already have set up. Perfect. Okay. Well, that seems all pretty much optimized. We had a, a nice day of hauling. Unfortunately, we got a million and a half wood. Anything up here I need to chop the trees out of? No, I think that's, that's grown as much as it can get. You know what? I could actually convert this to a storeroom now as well. So why don't I do that? Let's come in here and we'll do zone area, a stockpile zone right on in there. Beautiful. Let's grab this one. We'll copy the settings and we'll paste the settings into here. Awesome. 
And the same deal, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, let's just make another one right here. You know, why not? I mean, I have it, so I may as well take it. Uh, we'll grab this and paste again. Hopefully that worked. I'm not really sure. Just in case, copy, paste. Beautiful. All right, we got Tundra storage space. Everyone could not be happier thanks to the wedding in the last episode. Things are looking very, very, very up, except I'm noticing some dirt everywhere. Who's our de facto cleaner? It looks like actually Hanu. Let's open Hanu up here. He's actually got hauling a little bit higher. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, he's never even been set up yet. Ah, I see. Didn't even realize I hadn't set him up here. Let's go take a look at his character. He is a cook medicine grower. All right. Well, oh, you know what? If I didn't set him up, that means I probably also didn't do his um, hours, right? Because we had got them at, at the end of last episode. Is it getting cold? First of all, animal starvation on Elephant 1. Do we really need to deal with this again, or is it just slow to go get its grass? We may actually need to expand the allowed area. Yeah, I think the thing is they don't have any place they can eat because what's happening is there's just nothing but trees overgrowing everything. Let's expand it a little bit more over there so they can go eat a little bit more if they need to. Now, back to what I was doing here. If I could find it. Restriction, yes. I did not set up Hanu. There we go. Hanu's now set up. And let's go set up his work priorities. So I think it was grower, medicine, and cook. That sounds a lot like me. I feel like I copy myself every single time. But we'll do that. We'll come in here and we'll paste in Hanu. Beautiful. Now, let's uh, modify things a little bit here. For cooking, it looks like I really want him to be one of the higher priority cooks. We'll put that on a five. Handling, I think he can do... Yeah, all that is is feed animals. That's fine. This is all fine. Doctoring's fine. Uh, what we probably want to do, though, is make sure... Actually, that's fine as well. Who's our cleaner, then? It looks like Cinnamon's the cleaner. Cinnamon's not doing cleaning because of all these refractored work priorities. So load transport, bury corpse, haul corpse... Refuel fuelable buildings. Let's put that lower on Cinnamon so she does cleaning first. Uh, haul rotable items. We'll put that lower as well. All resources to frames. That's a very rare thing. Blueprints very rare as well. Deteriorating items. We'll put that on a five. And then that should be good to make sure Cinnamon's always cleaning. All right. Let's see if that is indeed the case. No, she's hauling steel helmet, but she should. After that's done, she should go to clean. Yep, she's going to sew an area, which is actually an important thing as well. So, we'll let that go for now. Yeah, look at that. Everything's getting hauled this time around. This is nice to see. Let's get this tree out of here so people don't use it against us. Same deal with this. How did a tree get into my Devil Strand? That's, that's like infuriating. Speaking of, Devil Strand 90, 91, 89. Oh, all this wooden stuff getting melted. That's, that's too bad. What are you going to do? So much hauling right now, it's insane. However, I think we're nearly done on the hauling. Yeah, we got some, some Devil Strand socks out here. I'm also realizing that if I cut these trees out and I just put uh, things here, we could shoot at people out there, but we're probably better off not. Actually, even if I... Ha yeah, we're probably better off not having that because they can shoot back in as well, I believe. So we kind of want them to come through here, if at all possible. All right, guys, what's going on? Cinnamon's out here still sowing this area. Oh, because we probably have a ton of harvesting to do. Look at all how fast all of these things get hauled. It's almost detrimental how fast they're all getting hauled because now they don't even have time to rot outside in the fields. That's something I just said. What am I doing? Also sowing the fields. Nice, we've got so much hay grass, it's insane. This is beautiful. Well, the only thing we really need right now is a squid to join the team here. And then we'll be in business. Why is, th why is this actually raging? Guys, should we wake them up? Because it does seem like uh, the whole town here doesn't, doesn't seem to care. Let's go. Yeah, the whole town just letting our stockpile burn to death. How did, how did a lightning strike actually hit underneath our, uh, our roof there? That's a little bit weird. Wow, let's just watch how fast this comes along. Are we in triple speed? Yes, we are. Tatted apparel on everybody. Minor break wrist sander. The other thing I want to make sure is that we're crafting as soon as we're done with all... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Now that I'm thinking about this, did I, did I disallow sewing everywhere? I, I would assume I did, but you know what? I did not actually. Let's zoom out. I could still get one more rice, but no. Let's, let's make sure sewing is canceled in all grow zones. I shouldn't even be planting that rice. It's not worth the time. Perfect. Milk has rotted away in storage. That's unfortunate. 
It's only 12 wood, though. Now. What we really need to do here is make sure people are crafting higher than any other thing. So let's take a look at everyone's crafting priorities up here in Moody. I think I'm going to go for... Where the heck is it? Construction? Is construction what I'm looking for? No, crafting. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, so Plockets... It looks like Shug and myself and Chrissy. Okay. And we're probably not doing these things because there's growing to do. I'm pretty sure to yes. I know we're all set to animal handling, but all that is is feed animals in the event that they're sick or something like that. So we should be good. Plockets, what are you up to? You're sleeping. Uh, myself, I'm resting. Chrissy seems to be busy making... F oh, that's right. She should become a chef. Even though she could uh, technically... Her Sonoma on me. Even though she could technically be the crafter. Not sure if we really need her to anymore. Because now that I'm thinking about it... Let's take a look over here really quick. Okay, these things are being made by her. And while, we, while she is cooking, we just got Hanu cooking. And he's not going to do any crafting. Speaking of, let's shut him off all of this crafting. He shouldn't have been doing that at all. And then plant cutting is looking good. All right, yeah. So let's get Chrissy off of cooking. Then we'll put that down to like an eight. So she does crafting first. And then I think we should be making a ton of stuff. We've only got three days here to make up everything we need to get out of town. This has been like the most profitable zone I've ever been in, in terms of resources. Even though it took me two seasons to like even get a base. We've got so much stuff, it's insane, especially this Devil Strand. I like how every time I make Devil Strand, people are like, that's dumb. It's literally the best thing I could possibly have done, I feel. It's so ridiculously strong. Once we get it crafted, we may not get it crafted in the next three days. Whoa, we're still mining steel? Huh. Oh, that, that does make some sense, because I'm going to need it for crafting these things, at least to some extent. I don't think there's much more to being set to mine except for this, and Xander's going to be busy mining that right now anyway, so... We'll just let him do that for a couple of days. And that's it. Just let everything go. Seven animals to train. Nice. Chrissy's working. You know, I bet she's working on blocks. And quite frankly, blocks are not that important. I should probably... Do we have smoke leaf set up here? Or we don't. I, I put these things in, but never actually set in the smoke leaf. All right. Let's do the smoke leaf. Uh, do forever. And let's copy all. Come over here and paste. Wonderful. Uh, also, let's go into the details. Let's just uh, drop on the floor. Make sure I get that right. Same deal over here. Details a drop on the floor. Perfect. That'll be much better. I don't I don't need these blocks because we're not going to use them and we're not going to carry them with us. I don't think... Whoa! That's a lot of fighters. That's a lot of fighters right by our Mufalos, guys. Um, This is a minor conundrum. What is this? Ooh, Luciferium times five. We could have used that for slate, but alas. Okay, this Mufalo did catch on fire, but it seems to have wandered out and got itself taken care of. That is a huge, huge fire. Where's the rain? Oh my god, it's even bigger. Now we're going to waste a ton of time putting out fires running through trees to do it. Why, did, why didn't this fire happen on day one when I first got here so I didn't have to cut all these trees down, you know? Yeah, the entire colony is wasting a whole day putting out fires while we wait for the rain. I like how when I need it to rain, it doesn't. But then when, it, when there's like one fire on the ground, it's like, Braid! 16 FPS, you say? Okay. Whoa, 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 why? What's happening now? Some, something bad is happening. Someone or something is on fire. Oh, yeah, a bunch of mufalos. I'm stuck in like slow motion here. I wonder if I can get Shug to come over here. Okay, it's reserved by me. I'm already doing it. Oh, no, Xander. Reserved by Xander. He's putting the fire out in the Mufalo. Elephants are getting caught on fire. Animals seem to be incredibly dumb about not getting burnt to death. Like, like two alpacas are on fire now. We just had an elephant on fire. At least people are putting these fighters out. In, like, one time speed. Come on, Ellis. Get in there. Get in there. Put, put the alpaca out. Oh, alpaca, stay put. Stay put. Good. Okay, we took care of the alpaca. Our Devil Strand socks are at least not getting lit on fire. Honestly, though, guys, what the heck is with this fire? Like, biggest fire I've ever seen. What a waste of a productive day this is. Oh, there goes all of our, uh, whatever this stuff was, ambrosia. Buck, our alpaca, is, of course, on fire again. Is someone going to put him out? 
Uh, okay, no, someone was actually not putting him out. Christine's working on it now, though, thanks to my intervention. And of course he outruns Christine, so we can't really put him out. But come down there, friend. You're gonna get yourself left eye burn scar. Oh, that sucks. Nothing like getting burned in the eye. This is honestly one of the least engaging moments I've ever had in this game. Like, I'm forced to play in single speed, watching all of my guys not put out fighters on animals. Drew, you're right there. Put the, put the fire out. Oh, never mind, it went out. Rufus, okay, yeah, all these roofs collapsing are out here in, in this area that I don't care about. It's got nothing to do with me. Hoop dilly doop. All right. Um, I don't know what's going on. Half the map is on fire, and the game doesn't care. At least it looks nice. It looks warm. Week two has rotted away. Major break risk. Ro roof collapse. Why is Bez on a major break risk now? Left leg bite scar. She's apparently. Hungry, has no rest, no joy, no beauty, comfort. Yeah, well, that's what that's what putting fighters out for days will do. And there we go. Rainy thunderstorms. Whew. Oh, another another lightning storm that came underneath into our stockpile. Alright, only two more days left, and we got a lot of stuff to do. Alpaca is miscarried due to starvation. Really? I didn't even get a notice that an alpaca was starving. I suppose all of their lands that they would have eaten in just got destroyed, so... That probably makes a little bit of sense. Should we expand that? Expand allowed area, animal area one. Let's give them a little bit more space to go into, since apparently, you know, all their, all their grass just got deleted. Alright, Devil Strand's 100%, 96, so it's going to be just two days of harvesting. An elephant has gotten sick from infection. Yeah, we have. Every, everything, we're taking care of that. Cinnamon's working on it. Oh, Cinnamon even had time to feed an elephant. She brought a meal to squid as well. I'm up and at him and eating here. Cinnamon's also feeding all these elephants who can't otherwise get up and walk because they had to get... every. I think like half my animals got lit on fire there. It was pretty ridiculous. Right eye cut scar. No, that's, that's a different one. Malnutri... Whoa, what is this malnutrition extreme? Wow. Huh. Where did that come from? Okay. Well, he's got some food in him now, so he'll be alright. Alright, today's the day, guys. Get out there. Uh, sow all that devil strand. The second it gets... Yep, the second it gets chopped down, people are busy hauling it. Unfortunately, we're not going to make any... anything before we leave, I think. We're going to be just a little bit slow on that, but wow, look how efficient and productive this is. Stuff gets, like, chopped, stuff gets hauled just like that. That's insane. Absolutely insane. We've got more stuff to haul. This this would be literally physically impossible to get off the map if I didn't use the car uh, console, the caravan. December 14th. We're supposed to leave, I think, in exactly two days. Two days minus two hours. we got, like, 46 hours, guys. Let's do it. Let's do it. So I'm just going to speed up here, because nothing really is going on right now. Hanu's gotten food poisoning from weeks to... Whoa, whoa, whoa. We actually don't have any meals. We have literally one meal right now. Hold the phone. So, I think Ellis is supposed to be the cook. Oh, is this haul urgently stuff? Yeah. Haul rotable. Let's put that on a five, five. Haul deteriorating. She's not cooking. And Hanu's supposed to be the other guy, and he wasn't doing it either. Oh, whoops, that was the wrong button. 5-5. Five, five. Let's just copy all the settings here. 5-5-5-5. Five, 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 five. Yeah. This should all be 5. Okay. There we go. That should take care of the issue. Now we should have... Yep, Hanu's working on cleaning or uh, cooking. So is Ellis. Beautiful. Right in the nick of time. But one question, though. Is, is Cinnamon actually cleaning? Yes. There we go. She just took care of all the cleaning. Chrissy's working on... Uh, the smoke leaf, apparently, which is good. We still have a decent amount of stuff to haul, though, unfortunately. Let's take a look here at the smoke leaf. 72, 73, 74. That's not going to be done. All the heel roots grown and all the corn is grown 
And pretty much all this Devil Strand's hitting 100, 99, 98, 100. Hitting 100% like right now. Whoa, 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 Eclipse? Okay, never mind. Work Frenzy. I have gotten inspired to go do some work. God, that's totally unrealistic. Are you kidding me? It's taking me two episodes just to record, or two weeks just to record this 40 minute episode. Inspired, not so much. Oh, a psychic ship. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm going to ignore that, and we're just going to get out of here. That is the perfect thing to have at the end, because you can just completely and utterly ignore it. All right. Whoa, Ellis and myself have hearts, apparently. Many hearts. I don't seem to be of the hearting variety right now, but Ellis seems to be happy about it. <laughs> uh, let's swing over here and watch this Devil Strand. Oh, I love how it gets hauled so fast. Refracted work priorities. It's so good. So good. The problem is here, we're supposed to leave tomorrow, and we still have a ton of stuff to do. Wow, look at that food. Ellis and Hanu cranking out those stews. That is, like, impressively fast. We got 5,000 wood, 300 steel. If I stayed here for, like, five more days, I'd have everything in the game and have nothing to do, and it'd be super, super, super easy. Item, stash, opportunity, pain stopper. Uh, beware, valuables tend to attract danger. Dark Light has no idea who or if anything might be guarding the stash. Willing to tell us the location? Eh, delete. I can't even do that because I don't have the one, the one mod that has not been updated that I still have is the tribal signal fire. Ah, oh, Bez and Squid. Come on, Squid, join the freaking party here before we have to go. You've been a prisoner this entire season. Nice, the rain is gone. And it's just about to tick over. First of April, May. Today's the day we're supposed to leave, friends. It's the day we're supposed to leave. Let's come up here and do harvest, then. We harvest all of this stuff, great. Uh, let's harvest all of this stuff, great, and all of that stuff, great. We're supposed to leave, like, today. Oh, wait a minute, I forgot this heater, too. Harvest all of that. And we're not even, like... We're not really ready for this. Let's, um, think for a minute here. All of these things I can grab, right? But with JT export, I'm probably gonna have to leave this behind. Let's export this bill. This will be Medieval Times Crafting Station. <laughs> okay. Great. Let's do the same thing over here. Uh, let's export that bill. Tailoring Station. Beautiful. And how about this Blacksmith? I'm sure we're not gonna... Oh god, I am so happy for this mod. Blacksmith Forge Tier 2. Beautiful. That'll save so much time when I get to the new base and I make new versions of those things. Uh, but for right now, I guess everyone's just sleeping. We'll wake up, we'll harvest all of this stuff. And then I think we're just gonna leave. I'm gonna have to unpack all of the bedrolls. Anything else I want to bring, which is going to be all the cooking stuff. And that's it. How much smoke leak do I have? A hundred? That'll probably be enough for the journey. Okay, everyone's out there harvesting. Um, I'm realizing now we're not going to get enough harvesting fast enough if we want to leave here. Grow, harvest... Plants would yield the produce. Right, I've never figured that out. Let's put harvest crops. Uh, let's do a shift click here uh, like that. Good, I'll leave that alone for now. And then half the colony should get out there working on this. More than half. One, two, three. Yeah, four or five. Looking good. Looking good. We're supposed to actually leave right now at noon. That's, that's usually my threshold, but we're not quite done harvesting. I'll just let it go a little bit more here. Maybe we'll have to delay one day. I didn't think it would take this long to harvest all this stuff. It's actually coming along pretty quick now that I'm working on it with, like, 19 people. Oh, wow. Look at Shrig and Hanu out here in the fields. Choppy, choppy, chop. Woo! They are flying through that corn. Nice. And then they... they, they well, actually, I guess just Drew left. Christine and... Or not Drew. Who was it? I don't even know who's who anymore. I'm getting confused. Like, Drew and Christine came in. That or Drew came down here while I was busy not paying attention. Apparently, a raccoon got slaughtered by a timber wolf, too, at the same time. But there we go. That's all harvested. Uh, we got one more thing down there. That's taken care of. How about down here in the Devil Strand? 100%. We're actually ready to go. Oh, no, we're not. No, we're not. We still have the smoke leaf here. Okay, we'll leave. We'll leave tomorrow at noon. We'll just, just one day late. Not too bad. 
Our final night. Let's take a look at what's going on here. Who's actually friends with who right now? Whoop, hold on. I just clicked the wrong button there. It's not health. I don't even know. It's social. There we go. So Christine currently, she's bonded with Buck, the alpaca that like burnt out his eye running around in the fire. It's funny because she didn't even bother to put the fire. I had to tell her to go put the fire out. She seems to like Plaquetta and Cinnamon and Drew, which is good. Uh, I only like Ellis. I also like Chrissy, apparently. And Bez and Xander. Oh, hey, let's check, let's check on all the males in the colony because there's only like three, right? I want to see. Is Hanu one? Yes, he is. Hanu hates everyone. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. However, Chrissy and Ellis like Hanu, so there might be something there in the future. Xander only likes me, the only male, the only other male in the colony, pretty much. That's going nowhere. And then Drew really likes Squid. Okay, but they're both males and Squid's a prisoner. So that's not helping us at all. Bandit Camp Opportunity. Interesting. We'll get an anti-grain warhead. I'm not so concerned with that. Seems a little bit uh, nonsensical to me. Come on, guys. We're almost done with the smoke leaf. Finish it up. We got three hours to get out of here. And, okay, we got just a couple left. Let's grab all these beds and let us actually uninstall them. We'll uninstall the hoop stone as well. The cots, I think I'll leave behind. I bet they cost a lot. Uh, let's uninstall these things here. We'll uninstall that. So we'll uninstall the butcher's block. Oh, we can't forget revenge cat. We'll uninstall that. I should probably grab some of these adobe traps. I, I guess I just clicked all traps for some reason. I only wanted the adobe ones, but whatever. We'll, we'll roll with that. The rest of the stuff I think we're just going to leave here. And that'll be it. So as soon as they're done unpacking these things. Oh, also this, this bench under here. We'll uninstall that because why not, right? Why not? That gets done fast. God, it's nice when the game just works. Okay, everything here is done. That's am I, am I missing anything? Nope, we're good. Wait, nope, that right there. Uh, one more thing. Let us uninstall this. Chrissy, you're the nearest. Come over here to uh, uninstall that really quick. And we're out of town. We're out of town. Fare ye well, swamp. Just in time, too, with that ridiculous psychic poison ship thing. First, let's go to the menu and enable us to even get off this map. All right, looking good. Uh, next, we're going to need to world map. And click and form a caravan. Beautiful. Uh, let's send, select everything. So much easier. Then let's come in here and we're going to have to drop off. I'm pretty sure they always have chunks in here. What are we at now? 6,500, right? Yeah, because they're, they're grabbing all the chunks. Let's get rid of all these... Wonderful. All these ridiculous skeletons are not taking those with us. I don't think we made, like, any Devil Strand at all. Okay, that's looking good. And then it's just a matter of, like, what weighs... Oh, you know what weighs a lot? Actually, hold on. A lot of this stuff is, like, not really stuff we need or care about. Wish I could sort by weight right now. I know we got tons of wood and I'm not going to be able to carry all of it, so why don't we drop off, like, the lowest quality wood? Okay, good. That's a decent amount. I feel like I do need a lot of wood if I can bring it, though, so we'll try to leave as much of that as possible. What else is there that I don't really want? Wooden smokehouse, we do want that. Huh. Steel, 290. That's not even that much. Smoke leaf's not even that much. They're only good for 20, 20 more a day. It's going to remember when we, when we set up shop to make those into something. 1,500 Devil Strand. Well, we're not leaving that behind. Wow. 4,000 corn, 700 corn, 4,000 hay. All right. Well, it looks like the thing here is to drop off as many of these cheap items as possible. Like, we don't even... I think these primitive speeders don't really do much for us anyway, so let's just drop off every weapon that's below, like... I'm just making an arbitrary, like, $60 threshold, except for spears. We'll drop those off, too. No, I'll drop these off. I'll make it, um, everything under $100, then. Yeah, like, anything that's, like, 0.5 kilograms. These things seem like they might be worth a decent amount, but don't care. Uh, there we go. Bearded Axe looks pretty good. All this stuff, gone, 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 gone. It's all like zero dollar stuff. Okay, this crossbow could still be good though at 95. I'll keep the rest of this. What is this? All this cloth? Yeah, this is just like dead weight. Like literal dead weight. I don't think we want like any of this stuff. Two dollars? It's just dead man stuff for days. And that's, and that's some of this is some of the stuff I made, but I don't want to spend the time to figure that out right now. Wooden plates. Yeah, these are all like shoddy, beaten up things. 
Hopefully we're not making anything that's only worth $30. Full plated head wrap. I think we actually did make that, believe it or not. So I'll, I'll keep that and get rid of these steel plated. No, because the steel plated head wraps are the ones we're supposed to be making. No, I think, not full plated. Domed helmets, get rid of this, get rid of that. Okay, we're only losing like zero weights doing all of this. Wow, these plated gloves are barely worth anything. Look at how much garbage there is in this. This world. Well, those are actually some pretty good Devil Strand boots, to be honest. All right, well, this is a little bit um, tedious, but I'm almost done. Steel plated boots, we'll keep those. I'll, actually, I'll drop off the 71%. We'll just keep the 90%. Okay, that, that dropped off 100 pounds. <laughs> or kilograms, rather. Well, I guess wood. Molotov cocktails, get out of here. What are, you, what are you guys doing? We don't want you. We don't, we don't want no longbow. We don't want no crossbows. Shoddy crossbows. Let's grab uh, the wood. We're going to need to bring a lot less, obviously. Elephant tusks, those are fine. Let's try to bring like 2,000. Okay, that's not going to be good. Maybe I should leave some corn behind? I really feel like I need at least 2,000 wood to get my base up and running. So I'm wondering if it's just like some other really heavy thing I can drop off. And I'm pretty sure the answer is no. We don't really have many stews now that I think about it. I didn't really prepare her like we don't have any stews, any meat, any cheese. We're just going to be eating raw corn on the way. Oh, well, that's fine. I guess we're going to have to drop off some more wood. 1500. God, I hate to do this. 1200. Oh, my Lord. 1100. OK, how about uh, 1050? All that wood, and we're going to leave all of that behind. Looks good. Let's hit up to the west. Uh, northwest, I suppose. And send instantly. Woo. All right, caravan. Let's get out of the dev mode now. Oh, wait. Before we... Actually, yeah. We can do this right here. Development mode off. Fare ye well, base. Fare ye well. I am... Look at all that stuff I left behind. So much wood. I don't feel like I brought enough wood. How many uh, animals did I end up not training? Three Mufalos and the alpaca. I never actually got them trained. I wonder if, if Bez, I think she was out there training. Like, she must have just failed. That would have been very helpful. That right there could, could screw us over. But you know what? For now, let's go visit the Pagana Forest. One thing I could do is go trade with these guys and sell them something and maybe buy. Actually, I could always buy wood towards the end. Drone intense. Oh, that's right. I need to get this uh, this base and let us abandon this base. All right, now we're good to go. So I'm not quite sure where I'm going here. Uh, I guess I'm just going to go and we'll kind of wing it. Normally I have like a really big plan. Do I want, what is this? This is desert. This is extreme. I don't want to go to extreme. I haven't even done, done regular desert. Maybe I should come up here though, I'm thinking. Because I could make a base somewhere in here. And then if I wanted to, I could go fight these brigands of the Grey Army, the Toad community. There could be a lot of interesting fights up there if I wanted to do that, so. I think I will do that, because down here looks boring. Whoa, incapacitated refugee opportunity, Shrike. The Butterkeep contacts you on radio and requests help. She's wounded, all right. There may be people nearby, but you know what? Who cares? Who cares? She's right up here on our way, so we're gonna do that for sure. What's up here if I kill this? Reward anti-grain warhead, I don't care so much about that. Uh, looking at our caravan here, we have 14 days of food. And we're going to be traveling for like 13 days. So once again, I'm going to arrive with zero food. We're going to have to buy some on the on the way. Did I actually seriously? Yeah, I did. I, I set up camp about one millimeter from these guys for the night. And there we go. Let's trade. Baz has poor health. Ooh, they have an elephant. Wait a minute. Well, that we can no, we have an elephant. Sorry, monkey, monkey, rooster, hen, cobra. They have cobras. I did try to make a cobra army once. That failed horrifically. It looks like squid grew a beard. It's getting old. That twenty-year-old squid. I wonder if I should sell these guys like my alpaca wool that I don't really want. Alpaca hide. I don't. I don't want that stuff. I didn't. Did I not have any leathers to bring? Yeah, apparently I didn't. Mega sloth leather. We can sell that. Mufalo leather. I guess I should have dropped all these things and brought more wood. Whatever. We'll, we'll sell it. We'll sell it. And I could sell uh, a lot of these things here. I don't, I don't really need, like, most of this stuff. 
You can always make new stuff. I'll keep the bandit's hammer because I think it looks cool. Keep the crossbow, the gloves, the boots, the other things. These guys have anything I want. They have a tool belt. Wait a minute. We, we only had 378 silver? I thought we had way more than that. Huh. Ooh, look at this. Tribal's rug shoddy. That looks super cool. A mural of a wandering tribe. The scenes take place during the day. It contains two tribals and what appears to be a white wolf, all traveling in the same direction. The landscape is mostly desert, with sparse life scattered around its sand. But peace speaks to the natural unity of the tribe and its cautious moments... Wait, and its cautious momentum moving forward in a barren landscape. Huh. That looks a lot like a lot like Nisa on the bottom left, but I can't quite see who it is. I don't recall ever having a white wolf, so I don't think that's anything to do with me, but maybe, who knows? Anywho, so let's sell all this stuff. We get $1,000 from them. What do I want from them? Probably just food. I'm thinking food is the smart thing here. Let's get um, jerked meats are as good as anything else. You know what? Cheese, $15 for cheese, though? Sure, we'll buy it. Oh, actually, no, we won't. Uh, let's buy like 90 of that cheese. Okay, let's buy like 85 of that cheese. There we go. We'll have no money left over when this is done, but I still think it's a smart idea. We could sell devil. I'm just curious what the devil strand's worth. 3,600. Not that much. Worth a decent amount, but not... Uh... Oh, the elephant tusks. I don't need those. We'll sell those off as well. And I'm not going to buy anything from these guys because, frankly... Fun bunny? What the hell's a fun bunny? Leg? What? Uh, I'll have to read about that later. For now, let's just hit the road. Let's go save this refugee. Ah, much better. Days of food, 18. We got rot in 4.4 days, though. That's weird. Shouldn't we be eating that rotting food, or are we going to eat the cheese first, I wonder? Let's see what, let's see what uh, crazy event befalls us when we come in here. It's going to be like a million Yorkshire Terriers, 8,000 rats. Here we go. I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out. How do I um, zoom in? Oh! Oh! Whoa! What? This is throwing rocks at us! What the? What the? What the hell is this? They've got turrets! Holy freaking! This isn't what I want to do! What is this? What the? Bez, get down there! Bez, where are you? Holy mother of it! Now there's a smoke bomb! Oh my lord, Alpaca was shot to death! What the hell? Get the- Oh my god! Why did I come here? What the hell? Okay. I need to, oh my lord. I don't want to create a blueprint, um, import, a hospital, uh, I forget how to do this. Camp? Is sure. Uh, set all these for medical. Un, un, everybody get off of alert here. Oh my god, they're throwing rocks through the walls. Christine's got a cut composite bow, gunshot, gunshot, what the hell is all these gunshots? This is awful. Okay, hold on. I need to... I'm going to pause because I need to... Uh, never mind. There's the herbal meds. Let's drop it on the ground. I was going to say I need to pause till I find it. Here's some more herbal meds. We'll drop them on the ground. Oh, my lord. So these guys still have one, two, three turrets. Four turrets. Wow. And they have this rock-slinging mortar. Oh, God. Oh, God! Woo! Bez, you're gonna be all right? I lost an alpaca as well and a whole bunch of devil-stranded corn. Tons of corn. And my smokehouse. That's unforbid everything on the map. I wonder if we can just leave here. I, I might just leave the smokehouse behind if we can even get patched up here in time. Holy mother of heavens. Bez is still trying to recruit squid here. You guys gonna get patched up sooner rather than later? Yeah. Forget this, huh? How do I get out of here? Uh, do I just go to the world map and, like, reform? I think I can, yeah. Squid, what are you doing? No! No, squid! 
No, what are you doing? Squid, come on! Dead in eight hours. Okay, our only chance to rescue Squid is to reform the caravan. There's still some enemies. I have to fight them? Oh my lord. Come on, guys, patch yourself. I have to fight them before I can leave, really? What if I just walk to the end of the map? Am I gonna be okay here? I think I've been tending to people. Have me rest until healed really quick. Cinnamon, have you come up here and uh, tend to... Okay, you can't... Oh my, if one of these rocks hit, hits us, we're screwed. Actually, then again, it looks like they're not shooting mortar shells. They're shooting, like, rocks at us. Bez, you're tending to us. We really need you to rest, though, and someone else. Uh, Chrissy, come over here and tend to Bez. Whew! Blockets is cleaning up the ground. Any, in any event, where's Cinnamon? She's up there. Let's have me attend to her really quick. Do I actually have to kill all the turret? I've never fought a turret raid before. This is like totally new to me. Oh my god, that's this is. Oh my lord, I got another alpaca out here who's like, was it? It was hit. Buck. No, that's Christine's favorite buck. How the heck do I deal with this? Chrissy went in there to get food and is now getting shot with her shield up. How do I even man- if I kill this one guy, will the turrets turn over to my side? Oh, now they're shooting real- they're shooting real explosives. Alright guys, uh, let's get everybody on alert. Let's go. This is like so far from what I wanted to do when this episode started. Oh, I hate guns! Come on, run! Run! No! No, Cinnamon's knocked out! All right, guys, move on down. Take down Sammy, and hopefully we don't have to kill every turret in the universe. If we do... Wait, where's Bez? Where's Bez? Bez? Uh, release the hounds. Really? I can actually do that now because we trained them. Oh, God! They're shooting me with a mortar! Woo! Looks like they're failing. Take down Sammy, guys! Gah! Take him down! Uh, really? We're, we're shooting random border. Okay, looks like Ellis is knocked out as well. I guess we've got to kill all of these turrets? You gotta be kidding me. Well, at least my animals will get on that. At least some random boarders are fighting back as well. Let's get a bunch of you guys down here. Oh my god. Come on, Chrissy, Christine, move down here. Drew, Ellis, move down here. Drew, get off of alert. Get off of alert, Drew. Block, it's moved down. Something's. Ha I don't even know what's going on, guys. Take, take down the last couple things. We're probably gonna be dead here. Shug. Me, Xander, get in here, get some cover, block, it's nice. Turret's getting bashed, disease, infection, disease, infection. I swear to God, if they kick me off this map. Block is no longer capable of walking. Squid has died from blood loss. Two years. These guys are all sh- Woo! Alpaca 6 has died. Torment has died in the explosion. Everybody off of alert. You gotta be kidding me. Oh my lord, was I not prepared for that. And apparently the turrets explode as well, and we've lost like 19 animals. Ellis, how long till you're dead? Death in 13 hours. Hanu, what are you doing? You're tending to Alpaca 3. Oh my god. That was the worst experience of my life. Everything's on medical up here. You guys, uh, build a copy. Okay, we got, someone's got to come over here and rescue Ellis. Poor squid! Or a squid, Drew, you're all right? Tending to alpaca too. Yeah, everyone's tending to someone. Someone's got to go save Ellis though. Bez, are you busy? Consuming corn. Come over here and rescue El. Nope, Pockets is already working on it. Ooh, Ooh gunshot, no immediate danger. Me, uh, infection in my. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to pause again for a second here. No, I, no, no, I don't. Actually, I, I have uh, herbal meds. Whenever I have to deal with something that frustrates me in the UI, I'm just going to pause until it's dealt with. That's like the nude rule, because I just don't feel like not doing that. Let's unforbid everything. Where is the rest of my... I don't have enough herbal meds on the ground, is really what I'm looking for here. Oh, there's some order. Come on, guys! I know there's, like, infections every five seconds. Like, there has to be, because otherwise it wouldn't be fun. There we go. 75 herbal meds. Drop them all on the ground. Mental break tantrum on Chrissy, because she's feeling bad. Trauma Savant on Nico from his brain injury. Disease infection on me, Shug, and Cinnamon. 
All right, where's me? I'm right here. Have I been tended to? No, I have not. Cinnamon, you're the best doctor. You can't get up, though. Who is Xander's? You gotta be kidding me. Go back to bed, you doofus! And have Xander come over here. The second I started getting tended to, I, like, woke up and interrupted it. Actually, I, I did get my thing tended to. So that's good. Great. Xander, come over here. Um, prioritize. Okay, Bez is doing it, but you're better. Who else has the infection? I can't remember. Who is having a tantrum now? Chrissy's out here feeling bad having a tantrum. Just punching random stuff. That's fine. Oh, my heavenly hash browns. Heavenly hash browns. Let's check the medical tab really quick. Who are the... Shug. Shug was the last one. Did Shug get tended to? No. Can I stand up? Yes. Let's have me tend to Shug with the herbal meds. There we go. So I think all the infections are tended to. Ellis is being not actually tended to at all. Disease infection on Bez. Where the hell am I going? Feeding a meal to Shug. That's probably the dumbest thing I could be doing. No, never mind. Drew and Xander are taking care of Ellis. And Bez. All taken care of. Everyone's taken care of. Medical tab. I have the worst possible infection. Right leg, 32, 33, but I'm ahead of it. Whew, okay, so we've got that taken care of. Now, let's take a look here on the animals. Animal tab, we're looking pretty good. Elephant just got patched up. So how many animals... Colonist missing cider. How many animals did we actually lose there? We lost a mufalo, an alpaca, another alpaca, and another mufalo. At the least. At the least. We're going to have such a smaller hauling capacity as a result of this. Oh, yeah, and the person I came here to quote-unquote rescue is dead. They had a methadone addiction. Uh, they were pretty beaten up anyway. They were an, an, a nudist artist. You've got to be kidding me. A, talk, a talkative nudist artist. This is like... <laughs> and another infection on Bez. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord. Okay, I need me to come over here and tend to Bez because I'm the best at tending. Okay, we got four infections, tons of wounds. We lost our fast walking squid that we spent 400 years trying to recruit. Unfortunately, uh, we got nothing for it and we lost half our hauling animals. Whoo! <laughs> When's we returning? We leave this godforsaken hellhole. I don't even know how we're gonna haul anything. Maybe I'll set up camp here for a few days and cook up some food and some stuff like that. What a mistake this was. This is what you get for trying to be nice. You try to be nice to save a talkative nudist artist. And what do you get for it? Almost everyone dies. And this is why, friends, you keep your clothes on and you don't study art. You just don't do it. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Oh, I hate guns! Come on, run! Run! No! No, Cinnamon's knocked out! Alright, guys, move on down. Take down Sammy, and hopefully we don't have to kill every turret in the universe. If we do... Wait, where's Bez? Where's Bez? Bez? Uh, release the hounds. Really? I can actually do that now, because we trained them. Oh, God! They're shooting me with a mortar! Woo! Looks like they're failing! 